Okay, so if you've been spending a lot of time formatting your type, whether it's character styles or paragraph styles, Photoshop has a feature where you can save the styles that you've been working on and apply them to something else later. So if you had multiple headlines and you want them to be formatted exactly the same, or maybe you have another image that you're working on that needs to have the same formatting, you can also export your styles and use them in other um, files that you might want to work on. So let's look at character and paragraph styling. So first of all, let's go to our character options here and I'll also bring up the character styles panel. And what I'd like to do is make some type up here that could be like a headline. And let's go ahead and format that. So to format it, let's make our point size a little bit larger and we'll choose a bold style. And we'd like our titles to be all caps. So I'll go ahead and select all caps here. And then I've set up this particular style. If I want to save the style from the characters panel, I can click here and choose new character style. And it brings it up to say character style one. That's not as useful as if we could name it for what we were doing, which is titles. So let's double click here and then we can rename this titles. And notice, because the text is selected, it copied the formatting that we did. It copied Myri Myriad Pro Bold, 14 points, all caps. And if we wanted to, we could come in here and set some other features if we wanted. Okay, but for now, we think this is good. Okay. If I select this type now, notice it just says titles and there's no plus sign. So I'm going to click on none and then I'm going to click on titles and that should make sure that I've applied that formatting through my character styles panel. Now let's make a second example. If I use this text down here and this is going to be my next title, I can select this title and now I can apply that title formatting and it should apply the formatting that we just created. Now, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's a little bit finicky to work with. So in order to try to get control back on it, what you need to do is change it back to none and then try to click on titles again. Also be careful of what's selected because sometimes it can pop off exactly what you have selected. So notice how helpful that is. Notice that you can apply a style and I don't have to worry that there's something I forgot to format on here because I have a saved settings for my character styles. Now we can also do the same thing with paragraph styling. With paragraph styling, if we select our paragraph here, and maybe we want it to be fully adjusted, left aligned on the bottom line. And we can set up this formatting. And we want to have a certain amount of space after the paragraph. We can go ahead and turn that on. And then if we want to save that as a style, we can go to our Paragraph Styles panel. And from our Paragraph Styles, styles panel, we can go ahead and save a new style. So it comes up with a generic name. Let's double click on that so we can name it our own name, which might be basic paragraphs. And it captures a lot in the paragraph style options. Notice it did also get our character options. So here it says Myriad Pro, regular, the size, case, pretty much all the options that you have for characters, advanced character formats, open type features, and then it begins to capture the paragraph options. So if I go to indents and spacing, notice it got um, left justify and it got the 14 point space after. And let's also check and make sure here because I don't want to have hyphenation. So. I'm going to turn off hyphenation and then choose OK. OK, so now if I select this paragraph, notice it knows it's my new basic paragraph that I just made. If I need to clear paragraphs, 
I can click on this top basic paragraph and that was at the initial default for Photoshop and then if I want to apply the one that I just made I can click on this one and it should go back to the formatting options that we chose. So notice here it's ragged, no space after the paragraph. And if I go here, it's justified with space after the paragraph. So saving a paragraph style is very useful. And for small sections of type, then you're going to want to use the character styles panel as a way of saving your styles. Now, Remember, if you have problems, clear it first and then reapply your style. The last thing I want to show you, and this works on both the paragraph and character styles panels, is over here on the right, you can save out your styles. So that's a little bit about working with paragraph styles and character styles.